Hey, welcome back to our course in creating a WordPress website from scratch, going from absolutely nothing to a fully completed website with hundreds of articles and affiliate links on it, showing you how to do the entire process. It's very, very simple, encouraging you also to follow along. If you have not chosen your own niche, if you have not done your keyword clustering and keyword research and, and found a host, found the domain, hooked everything up and then followed along and built your WordPress website with me. Stop right now in the description down below. There's links to the beginning of this course. You can go watch all of the videos. Course is completely free. I'm not charging at all for this course. So follow along because you'll feel a sense of pride and accomplishment if you finish this entire uh, course and have your own WordPress website. So previous video, we built our landing page right here. So we have the landing page all done and we got our AI images. So it's looking pretty cool. Now it's time to go back to those keywords that we found. And I think it was like lesson two or lesson three, somewhere around there and get those keywords and finalize the list, put them all together in that kind of master list. So they're all ready to go and start writing. And then in the next video, we'll start going through some of those because some of the articles that we're going to write about will be affiliate product roundup posts. So those will be a little bit different than our info articles. So we're going to um, have some different settings, use some different things inside of ZenWriter to do all that stuff. We'll configure all that and I'll show you how to do all that in the next video. This video, it's about processing those lists of keywords that we came up with earlier in this, this course. So open up your list of keywords and follow along with what I'm doing. So we want to create a blank Excel spreadsheet or Google Sheets, whatever you want to work with, just a blank one. And this is going to be our master kind of sheet that has all of the, the keywords on it. And then we'll go to our first list. So the first list we had was, um, let's see, we had holiday. That was our, one of our first categories right here. Holidays can be a, a huge, huge category. So here's our holiday. So this is the list that we made inside of ZimWriter using the uh, SEO keywords to blog post titles. We fed in this list of, geez, I don't know how many it was. You got to divide by five. So I think it was 500 keywords and it spit out five different blog post titles for that. And then the AI chose the best one and then it created a title for us and then also attached a slug. If you don't know what the slug is, so a slug is basically when you visit a blog post and there's, uh, I guess we have a hello world blog post on here. When you visit a blog post, it's the URL that's up here. Now the URL that's up here can be different from the actual title of the article. So it's from an SEO perspective, it's good to have this as an exact match for the keyword, but then this title can be more user click friendly, so to speak. You know, usually this, this title here, this H1 is going to be the, the meta title that's going to be displayed on uh, Google. So you'll have the meta title and you'll have this H1. Usually people that have blogs will have that be identical for the SERP and also uh, for the H1, but then the slug is going to be different. So as an example, five tips for perfect aesthetic Christmas decor that would not be a good slug to have. Cause what if one day you wanted to change it to six tips, you can't change this up here because then it's going to create a, a 404 if somebody's trying to visit the old URL. So this is not a good slug right here. The slug is better to actually be the, the SEO keyword. So aesthetic Christmas decor ideas. If we look over here was the actual uh, keyword. Okay. So th that's what the slug is. When we put this slug in with the title. So this is like the special format for it. There's a curly bracket slug equals when we take that and we put something like that into Zim writers, bulk writer, for instance, what will happen is if we hook this up to WordPress and when it uploads it, it will make this the slug. Otherwise the slug will, if you don't have this in here, the slug will be this, which isn't really great for, for SEO purposes. So keep that in mind. So we want to take these, these results right here. Let's actually do a filter. We don't want the dashes. Let's see, format data filter. I want everything but dashes. Fantastic. So all we get out of that SEO keyword to blog post title are going to be these titles plus these slugs. So I'm going to go over here to our other, our master sheet. I'm going to put these in right here. Let's see. Yes, we'll put it around. I'm just trying to think. I'm, I'm thinking about a couple things right now. We'll put that in right there. Now, we're not done processing this holiday sheet, right? I can close this sheet. We're done with this particular sheet, but we still have a couple more things to do to this list right here before we open up the next category and process that. I want to show you, and this is really important. Uh, these articles here, we're going to be processing in the bulk writer. So I want to show you 
these special variables that are available in the bulk writer and it's important to set them up right now so i clicked on secret training inside of zim writer or you could just go to my website and and click on secret training and it takes you here and there's a exhaustive guide for the bulk writer so we click that and this is what we're interested in blog post title variables so right now we have a slug so we have our title and we have our slug that's pretty important the other thing that's important is this category right here the category is going to direct ZimWriter to upload the article in a particular category now normally you go into ZimWriter and you go into the the wordpress setup and you select your your site and then you can select the user you want to upload as and then it will find the category for you to upload this is fine if you're just uploading all of your articles to a single category but when you have a lot of different articles to upload you might want them all going in different categories and that's where having this category variable at the end can come in handy so let's let's add that right here so all of this is going to go in our holiday category but let's find the exact title of it so we'll go back over to our dashboard and we're going to go to categories so i'll copy holiday home decor and we'll come over here and we'll put in curly brackets and then the word category and then an equal sign and paste holiday home decor and curly brackets and then we'll simply fill down and then what we can do to merge all this together is we can say equals this and this and then we simply fill down right there and then i'll just come over here and i'll take all this stuff and i will paste uh values values there we go so that is all done right there so we have our title we have our slug we have our category so this set of articles man there's like a lot of them 400 articles are all ready so let's go on to the next pack now the next pack seasons that's the next one we got to do so here's the seasons so remember we have our fall spring summer winter and this was the list i think we also used the seo keywords to blog post titles on so we'll come over here and we will do the same thing before I pull out the titles I'm actually going to process the the category inside of here because I can see where the fall stuff starts and, and ends so we'll go over here and we'll say I will pull fall home decor and we'll say category equals fall home decor I don't want that e in there and this is going to come down oops fall home decor right there now we need spring now we'll do summer and finally we'll do winter winter home decor I'm assuming that was all named appropriately winter home decor and summer home decor perfect so now let's go over here and this equals this and this and then we'll filter data filter and we'll go back to our master sheet and now we have all that stuff in there that's about oh what is it bunch of articles for each let's make this a little bit bigger now the last thing we got to do is add the articles from the topical authority generator so let's go in there this is the topical authority generator we did fantastic did I go through this yes I went through this so I whenever you use the topical authority generator make sure you go through if you're choosing more than one let me just show you let's see ai vault topical authority generator if you're using more than one blog post title then you need to go through them and make sure you select the best one because there's going to be overlap and, and possible cannibalization if like for this one i chose two so two blog post titles for each one so i deleted uh, one of them visually go through and you don't have to it's just if you're trying to rank then yeah you don't want too much overlap 
Although if you, if this is like a Pinterest thing, if you're going to be going after Pinterest, cannibalization isn't really a big factor. You just want that content to keep coming that you can keep creating those pins for. Just possibly go through this if that's what you need to do. Now, the categories we got to change though, because even though this was the category I put in, Thrifty Room Makeovers, it got changed. That's what kind of what happens. So Thrifty Room Makeovers. So let's change this to, let's say, replace all. That works. DIY budget decor is DIY decor, small space solutions. Replace all. So it should have replaced it in here too. All right now, now the, the difference with top of the topical authority generator is you also have this thing called a, an outline focus and the outline focus is it's explained right here, it explains what it is. It allows you to give a direction to the AI as it creates the outline useful when you either want to give the AI, the AI to go in a specific direction when creating the outline or when you, when the title might be ambiguous to the AI. So for a blog post title, gaming home decor, here's a possible outline focus. So this is uh, it's something that the topical authority generator will create, although you're free to create your own, although it's not even necessary. So it's not required, but we're just going to use the one that the generator gave us for these. Now, I need to first filter by the ones I did not, did not pick. I don't want to choose all of these. So we'll do data or filter, data filter. And I only want non-blanks. So we'll go over here to our merged columns. So you take the merged column. And we'll pull the merged column out and I'll go to master and we can paste that in. Cool. Now we want to do something first with this. Normally with a site, especially after the helpful content update, I would drip content, maybe two articles a week or something like that, or three articles a week. Go real slow. Don't go fast. Uh, you could, or some people do go fast and that's perfectly fine too, but my style would be to go slow. Now I'm making this course for you guys and I'm probably not going to rank since I'm uh, revealing my site and I'm also going after Pinterest. I don't know if I'm going to drip feed any content at all. All right. But if I was going to drip feed content, then what I would do is I would come in here and for each category, I would at least pull out four articles. Because let me go over here and show you. What we want to do is we want to initially seed our site with some content so we can make sure the pagination's okay and just have some content on our site. So what I would normally do is I would either seed probably five articles for each category. And that way I can, on the category page, I can display four articles, one, two, three, four, and a, and a two by two grid. And then I could have a pagination at the bottom. So I'd probably initially seed four articles to each category. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's like what? 32, right? <laughs> 32 articles. But to do that, we got to pull those out now before we randomize this. Cause we're going to, uh, we're going to ultimately randomize this because we don't, again, if you're drip feeding content, you don't want to drip feed all your content to holiday. And then eventually a, a year later or something after that drip for the holiday is completed. And then it's, it's going to start dripping out spring and then dripping out. So you don't want to do that. You want to just randomly drip amongst everything. But to do that, we need this in a random order. But if we do that in a random order, then we're not going to know. It's going to be a lot harder to figure out. We need a couple from here to seed, a couple from here to seed. So let's pull the ones out that we're going to seed right now. I'll show you what I'm, if you're totally confused, just watch what I'm doing. So we'll say master seed. And I'm going to go in here and for, this is for the thrifty room makeover. So I'm going to pull those out and put those there. And then what was the next category? DIY home decor. How, how many did I pull? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we'll just pull five out. All right. So DIY home, one, two, three, four, five. If you pull more than five, it's not a big deal. But you just want something to seed each category with small space solutions. One, two, three, four, five. Holiday. I just pull, let's just pull five from holiday. Here's fall. So one, two, three, four, five. Spring. Two, three, four, five. Summer. Winter. One, two, three, four. So here is our list 
of articles that we're just going to instantly publish. We have articles from every category. We're going to instantly publish these articles so our site has some content. And then if you do want to drip feed content with ZenWriter Scheduler, so like Bulk Writer, WordPress, so there's a scheduler in here. You can say, I want three posts each week starting at, you can pick your date, you can backdate dates if you want to, but you can drip this content out. And if you have 500 articles and you do three a week, it could drip out for the next three years if you wanted to. The site's basically done and you can go do other things, make other sites. But that's the cool thing about Cloudways. You have this cloud platform and you can throw on almost any number of sites. And if the sites don't get any traffic, it's not really using any CPU usage. It's just taking up maybe like uh, half a gig for storage or something like that. So there's really no downside to spinning up a lot of these sites. And all you're doing is paying that $10 a year domain a registration fee. All right. So it's a very, very inexpensive endeavor to do this. Let's remove these blank lines right now. Uh, data, remove duplicates. All right. All the blank lines are gone. So we have our master list and we have the seed list, which will be the stuff that we're going to publish right off the bat. Then we need our product roundups. So, so product roundups, and I'm going to publish these all initially too because of the way that we're doing links, internal linking, I want all of these published. Now it's totally up to you. Maybe I'm going to publish, we're going to have a hundred and some product roundup articles. That's a lot. I'm doing this for demonstration purposes. You might want to dial it back a, a little bit if you're trying to rank and things like that. But again, with my main focus being Pinterest, I don't really care about having a lot of product roundups on my site. So let's go to our list over here. So this topical authority generator is done. We get the roundups. So let's open this up. So we'll have 140 roundups. So this is all we need for our product roundups. And I'm just doing one category, it's just gonna be the, the, the product review category. So we don't need anything fancy for this. We'll go over here to product roundups and I'll just paste this in here. Now we have one nice and easy to manage list with all of our stuff on it. So now we're done. We have our list of 40 articles to initially publish. And then we have an additional, man, what is this like? 590 articles. I think I am going to drip feed some of this stuff because this is, I'm not, there's no way I'm loading a new site with 600 articles. That's just insane. And then we have our product roundups, which will be a 140 and we'll initially publish those too. So cool. A lot of stuff. That is the end of this video. Now, the next video, we're going to set the job up for the product roundups and, and write those in the very next video. And then after that video, we'll set up this, this master C job and then write those. And then also we'll queue up the 600 articles here to write. And, and I'm going to drip feed some of those because that's just an insane amount of stuff. And then when that's going, probably in a subsequent video or so, we'll make sure that our category uh, pages are all looking good. And then we'll also populate some of this terms of use and privacy policy, and then put our Amazon stuff down below. So we'll, we'll take care of all that. But hey, Thanks for watching this video. And if you liked it, drop a comment down below. If you have any questions, uh, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. There's links down below to all the software I'm using, to all the, the videos in this course. And I'll see you in a few minutes in the next lesson.